Welcome to Unicorn Storytime. My name is Clara. Today we're reading Curious George, Dinosaur Discovery. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. George loved to go places with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. One of their favorite places to visit was the Dinosaur Museum. special day. George friend said, we are going to do something very interesting. George was curious. What could be more interesting than a trip to the dinosaur museum? The man with the yellow hat led the way through the museum. George wanted to stop and look at the dinosaur bones. Best friend kept going, so George kept following. Finally, they walked right out the back door. A van was waiting for them outside. Climb in, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George looked out the window as the van drove off. Where could they be going? At last, the van reached the rocky quarry. Dozens of people were there. Some were digging with shovels. Others were using pickaxes or other kinds of tools. Surprise! George's friend said, We are going to help the museum scientists dig for dinosaur bones. George was curious. Where were, really, were there really dinosaurs buried in the quarry? He ran over for a better look. Hello! said a friendly scientist. Are you here to help with the dig? George watched the, watched the scientist work. She dug up some dirt and put it into her sifting pan. It looked like a, it took a long time to sift it. And in the end, no dinosaur bones. Oh well, she said. Time to try again. But the next pen was empty too. So was the next one. And the one after that. George yawned. So far, digging for dinosaur dinosaurs were not as exciting as he expected. George was curious. Could he help to find dinosaur bones? He found Bear shovel lying in the dirt. He dug and dug, but he didn't find any dinosaurs. When he climbed out of his hole, George spotted another scientist. She was dusting something with small brush. Oh well, the scientist said, "It's not a bone, just a rock." This was the help. Brush and went to work. But it turns out that monkeys are not very good at dusting. As he hurried away from the cloud of dust, he bumped into a new bell. Maybe there were dinosaur bones in it. He climbed up to look inside. But the new bell was awfully tippy. Crash! George, the wheelbarrow, and a whole lot of dirt went flying. Hey, someone cried, what's that monkey doing? George scampered away, straight up the cliff. Monkeys are good at climbing, so George kept going higher and higher. When he got to the top, he accidentally knocked a stone over the edge. That stone hit another stone, which hit another stone, and another. Oh no, it was a rock slide! The man with the yellow hat called George to come down. George wanted to climb down, but he was afraid the scientist would be angry with him. But the scientist didn't look angry. Look, one cried, pointing, look what that monkey had on just just uncovered. George could hardly believe what he saw. Dinosaur bones! After that, 
the dinosaur did was eat an English one. George helped the scientist dig and sift and dust and take photographs of the bones she had found. And the next time, he and the man with the yellow hat visited the dinosaur museum. George got to hear his dinosaur on the spot. Look, now it says George O'Sword. Thank you for watching. Bye!